Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool pinball video for you this evening. Now, if you've been watching, we've been playing and working on, um, I should say, this Pat Hand pinball for quite a while now. And we've been filming videos of us getting it up and going, and we finally did. So now we're going to film a video of us actually playing the thing, and let's see if it's any fun. I've had one before, and if I remember correctly, I liked it. I've noticed... You want to see something crazy? Now, to our longtime viewers, do you notice anything different about the shot right now? I just noticed tonight, they finally fixed the light bulb across the street. So there are two lamps across the street. There's this beautiful old church across the street, 200 years old, that's got all these palm trees and stuff out in front of it. If you go back and look at any of our older videos, you can't see anything across the street because the lamps have been burnt out for about five years. So I noticed it earlier and I thought, you know, it looks all different. What, what is that? It must be, huh, maybe the lamp got fixed. So I went back and started watching some of our old videos. Yeah, I think it's been burnt out for five years. So now we finally have good, uh, a good backdrop on our scene here. So hope you enjoy that. But let's check out this machine. This was made in 1975 by Williams, Pat Hand. And from what I understand, Pat Hand is an old phrase that card players use. And I believe it means that you have a... Now, I'm, I might get this wrong. If I do, don't stab me. But I think it means that you have a hand that you know is going to win. And you're just sitting around trying to get people to to uh, bet more, because you got you've got a pat hand that you're sitting on. I think that's right. I might have that wrong. If I'm wrong, tell me down below what it really means. But uh, it has a card theme, and I noticed before, whenever we were working on it, that there's no diamonds or spa or or, or uh, clubs anywhere on the game. They're all hearts and spades, for whatever reason. Look, you can see people driving by now and everything. It's amazing. So there is a, uh, what's that? Is that the Joker or the Knight? Maybe the Knight? I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's not the King. It's not the Jack. It must be the Joker. Also, this is very faded, so we also figured out when we were working on it, I don't have it off now, but if you take that lockdown bar off, there's a thin strip of pink still left under it that's hot pink. So this is very faded compared to how it was originally. And at the time, they were, it was 1975, they were doing some crazy stuff like that. This probably won't show up very good in the camera. There we go. See the orange? See how bright that is? The camera's making the rest of it look washed out. But right in the center of the screen there, that orange is how it looks here in person. It's like a neon orange. So they were going uh, very flashy with it. Got a metal back door. Very cool. So what we like to do whenever we uh, work on these is we like to get the uh, we like to paint the frame around the the back glass so it looks nice and fresh and it really makes that sucker pop. So uh, that back glass is pretty awesome. Let's check it out. I have really no clue what the theme is supposed to be. It's kind of got a Japanese theme to it. You know, for whatever reason, in the United States, uh, Asian, and I hope I don't want to offend anybody when I say all this, I have nothing but love for Asian people. I'll just say that up front. For whatever reason, there was kind of like in the 70s, there was a lot of Asian-themed things in the United States. So like whenever I was a kid, my parents had these big uh, paintings that hung up on the wall that were, I saw them in other people's houses too, that had this kind of imagery on it and stuff. It was just kind of a an American thing there for a while. So I don't know why that is, but this is right out of 1975, right in the middle of that, I guess. So it kind of has a, 
I guess a Japanese vibe to it. And uh, like I mentioned, there are no diamonds or clubs. They're all hearts and spades. Also on her dress. And all these back here, for whatever reason. There are little flowers with spades on it and hearts on the petals. Petals. Um, so there's this little kind of, I don't know, swamp or something there with grass growing out of it. Trees. I just, I always like to look at the design of these. Now remember I said there was no club, but you know the club is like a rounded look on the cards usually. And look, they did, they give you the little hint of that with these dots. I don't know why that is. I haven't found any of the diamonds yet, but that does kind of almost have the same vibe as the club does. I don't, I don't see anything that reminds me of the diamonds though. Unless I'm missing something. Hmm. But, like usual, a very well thought out back glass. Now, this back glass was made by Mr. Christian Marsh. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. M-A-R-C-H-E. Christian Marsh. And he was, he was one of the guys that did the pointy people at Williams. The famous pointy people. He didn't start it, though. There was a guy named Kelly that I believe, I might have this wrong, but I think Mr. Kelly started the pointy people. And then... Um, Later, Christian continued making the pointy people. So if you look, there's some kind of, these aren't points, but you get these awkward kind of looks on some of the poses. That was all stylized and not on purpose. Let me show you just a couple more. Well, let me show you one more. That one we move to the back. This is also Christian Marsh. And this is more of the pointy people. So this is, I think, a little earlier. But see how the people have... Pointy fingers and pointy elbows, and everything's very angular. That's the famous Williams pointy people. We have a Jubilee too in the back that he did, but that was just kind of the style that they went with for many, many years. That's a good example there. See how the hands are just a like a triangle, and the knees are pointy and. That's just, that's just how they did it. So, uh, Mr. Marsh did the, gla the, uh, the artwork on this. He did like 150 back glasses. If you go on uh, the Internet Pinball Database, you can pull up a list of all of them. For like 10 years, he did glasses for everybody but Gottlob. He did like Chicago Coin, Williams, Bally... And I think there was one other, Genco or one of those, I don't, I don't know who Gen, I don't know anything about Genco, but one of those other uh, companies he also did the, <laughs> the pack glasses for. So the guy got around. Very cool. But yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a great back glass and it's got a really cool, it looks good with the nice white frame around it, even though the white isn't really a match to the uh, faded white on the rest of the cabinet. But it looks really nice. Now I'm going to show you one other thing. Okay, now look at my score from earlier. I think we were cheating, though. I don't think I did that just playing, but we'll see here in a little bit. We're going to play it, right? So before we painted it, over here on this side, somebody had scratched their initials in it. And it says, 135, 135,950. And the guy's name is, it looks like it says Heckler, H-E-C-K-L-E-R, Heckler. So it's one of my commenters down below. So Mr. Heckler claims he got 135,950 points and he scratched it in the damn frame of the back, of the back box so that everyone would know for forever. Okay, so let's check out the art on the playfield. Like a lot of games, you collect the bonus when you drain the ball. So collect the bonus. Now look at look at what they did here. There is this kimono clad looking guy that is the Joker that creates the 
bonus ladder. And it has this uh, copyright date. And it has this uh, uh, nice symmetrical look with the two at the top. So this one, once you build up to 10,000, it restarts back at 1,000 and lights up double bonus. Wait, is that right? No, that's not right. You, you can only go up to 10,000 and then you can turn on double bonus to double all of it. Um, because let's say you go up to 10 and then you go back to 1,000 but it lights double bonus, you'd only get 2,000 points. So that's not how it works. So you can only go up to 10 but you can also light up the double bonus. And then you get the same player shoots again light over here, but it 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 creates the arms and shoulders of the guys. Is that called a kimono? I think. And then the um, the trees and stuff on the back the background match what's on the back glass. There was a there was a little design underneath these platters on the pot bumpers, but we had to cover them with this black mylar because they were all um, the the paint was worn away. And uh, someone had put clear mylar over the worn paint, so I wasn't able to repaint it because I couldn't get the old mylar off without destroying the playfield. So, hey, what can you do? And then you have... Holy crap! That's a club. I just noticed it. <laughs> That's kind of a club, isn't it? Alright, so they used the club imagery for the the middle there. So you've got an ace of hearts, a king of uh, uh, spades, a queen of hearts of course, the jack of spades, and the ten of hearts which by the way matches her hand in the uh, on the back glass. You've got the four jokers over here then you've got this nice little thing up here. Lit target scores special when red arrow is lit. Target score 30 points or 3,000 when lit. Button score 1,000 points when lit. So you've got this kind of almost Rapunzel looking character here. I suppose that's her as well. And then you have hearts and spades all over the artwork. And here she is with a big dress with hearts all over it. So, very cool. I wish it had like some diamonds somewhere. They think they would have worked that into something. Hmm. Guess it wasn't that important to them. So maybe it won't be important to me. Instructions. You know, all these games are more fun, people. If you don't know, if you actually read the instructions first. Nobody does. Like, I've got a store here. We've got games all over the place. People come in and they just hit the button and start playing it. Nobody reads the instructions. Only nerds read the instructions. Let's be nerdy. When credit light is lit, press the credit button and wait for machine to reset before pressing the credit button for additional players. Okay. Each player shoots one ball at a time as indicated on the back glass. So they're saying on the back glass it will light up who which player's turn it is. The one, two, and three, and four will light up. And then the uh, down here in the bottom it says ball and play. Tilt penalty is the ball and play. Tilt does not disqualify a player. So they mention that because on some of the older games, whenever you tilted, the whole game was over. Making five cards, ten through ace once, lights 1,000 rollover buttons and bumpers. Second time, lights the bonus score double. Third time, lights the special lights. Now think about what's going on here. So let's, let's, let's go over this. Making five cards, ten through ace one time. So they're talking about these. If you roll over these buttons, you get that card. Now... This one's lit up because they hadn't got it in the last game. So the other four that are dark had been scored, right? So they're talking about those. Making five cards, ten through ace once, lights the 1,000 rollover button and bumpers. So it lights up these bumpers to make them worth 100 instead of 10. And it lights up these at the top. Button score 1,000 points when lit. 
Okay? And then it says, second time, lights bonus score scores double. So it lights up this. But think about what they're saying here. This is an EM pinball machine. There's just switches on it. So they were smart enough to wire it up where if you get all five of those, it lights up the lights up there, and now they're worth a thousand instead of ten or a hundred, whatever they are. And then all these light back up, and it's ready to go again. And then if you do it again, it turns on these. And no, no, that it, yeah, it does this the first time. The second time, it lights the bonus scores double. It lights that one. And it's not just turning on a light, it has to all score like that too. So it has to turn on not only the, the lights to make it a thousand up there, but it has to make it where those actually score a thousand. Right? And it doesn't, it doesn't do the double bonus the first time, it only does it after you do it twice. The third time lights the special lights, which is this red one. And this one. I have the special set on a free ball. So this game is on free play because it's for somebody's house. And so if you've if you got the game on free play for your home, it's not really that fun to re win a free game, a free credit. I mean, they're all free anyway. But it's kind of fun to win an extra ball. You can get a higher score. So that's how we have it set up. But my whole point is, with switches and crap, and it, you know, you can think about how they did it. It wasn't too hard, but it's just the idea of thinking like that. With switches and crap, they came up with the idea that the first time this happened, they would make those light up. The second time it happens, they're going to make that light up, but those up there will also be lit up. And then the third time, it will light up the specials. And they all have to score properly. You know? So just creative creative stuff. And all of the M games have stuff like that. Now, there's no computer that can keep track of that. They have to do it all with relays and switches. Hitting indicated special target when lit scores... I, it says one replay, but it's actually one ball. Hitting all four jokers scores one extra ball. Maximum one extra ball per ball in play. And the reason that they do that is they just turn off the uh, the ability for the uh, ball and the ball unit to step up one ball. So they can't do that twice. One replay for each player matching the last two numbers on score reel to lighted number that appears on back glass when game is over. So at the top of the back glass, there is a 20 lit right now. And you can turn that feature on and off. But I always turn it on. But in some places it was illegal. It's hard to see, but if you look real close next to it, there's a 10. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40. Oh no, 10, 20, 30. And then over here, 40, you can kind of see, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then I think a zero pops up over here. Very cool, very cool. So, it's kind of a plain game. There's not a lot to shoot at, but there is one nice little shot off of here. So you're trying to get all these mainly. But there's a nice shot. Again, if you get all four of them, you get a free ball. But there's a nice shot over to here, around that, hit these, and hit all those. And it can be done. It can be done, and I know it can be done because I've done it. All right, so I'll set up the tripod, and we'll play it a little bit, and uh, see if we can make this sucker sing. I'll, put, I'll slide the glass in it, too. Okay, folks, so we're going to play it a little bit. Now, it looked to me like the way I read the instructions, all of your actions off this top flipper, really, you're trying to get all five of these uh, rollover buttons, and you're trying to get the four jokers. I mean, that's most of your gameplay right there. Oh, and I have it set on five ball. Usually I do three ball, but lately on some of these EMs I've been doing five. Because we, we've had some elderly people come in wanting to buy games and they prefer them on five. Well, that's a hell of a first ball. Here I am trying to sell you this game.
That's a pretty decent shot. Got my 3,000 points. All right, we're up to 11,310. Well, not enough. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. If it, if it rolls off that top, you get all those rollovers. So we've lit all the ones on the left. I wonder why that is. What calls that? Oh, it's because I got to the top of the bonus ladder. Oh. Did you see that our light bulb was acting up again at the end? Okay, so we're at 28,890 points. This is ball number four. So yeah, watch how it rolls off. I didn't do it all the way that time. Before it got all of them. Oh. Ah. All right, this is the last ball. We're at 32,050 points. Oh, come on. All right, so we got 38,190 on our first ball. I mean, our first game. That was just us tuning it up, people. I mean, I didn't even know what I was doing yet, okay? Don't get excited. Oh, and by the way, whenever I play these like this, we just finished this thing. So I'm basically, I'm testing it. That's what I'm doing. So I'm looking to see if there's any little problems once you put a few games on it. Y'all are testing it with me. Don't you feel don't you feel special? Ooh, no. <laughs> oh boy. I would also like to address the the subject of nudging. I have had people ridicule me because I don't nudge and they say that my nudge game isn't what it needs to be. Like, for instance, that ball just fell all the way down, and I could tell it was going to go through the middle, but I let it go through the middle. I did not nudge the pinball machine. Do you know why I did not nudge the pinball machine? It's not because of my moral integrity. I own the pinball machine. I can nudge it if I want, and the owner will not get mad. It's because the camera's in the way, people. Come on. The camera's in the way. I'd have to knock you over to hit the pinball machine. get it just right, you'll hit all ten of those rollovers. Mm. Notice I'm not calling out the score. the last ball already. Ugh. That was a very ineffective flip there. <laughs> I 
Come on now. Look, I haven't even increased the, the advance yet. That's what those do up there. <laughs> ah, 32,970. That's horrible. I got to get up over 50 this time. And that's with five balls. Ah, man, I keep... That was pathetic. There we go. There we go. Uh-oh. People, you're in the way. You're in the way, people. I'm blaming that completely on y'all. I don't know why you have to stand right here in front of me. now that I see it. Okay, so the ones at the top left. Okay, we finally got our five in the middle. Okay. I'm going to explain a rule to you that I just figured out. So these ones say advanced bonus or 100 when lit. Okay, so as you see right now, they are not lit. They all lit up earlier and I thought, huh, those are lit now. I wonder why that is. And then I said, oh, it's because the bonus got to the top. That makes complete sense because you can only take the bonus to 10,000. It doesn't, this double bonus is a completely separate thing. So all you can get is 10,000. So what it does is these up here advance it to 10,000. And then once you get to 10,000, it turns all these lights on so that they're now worth 100 points because it doesn't, you don't get anything. You can't advance it anymore. You can only advance it to 10,000. Very well thought out, engineers at Williams, if you are still watching. Last ball, people. I have not made my 50 yet. <laughs> Ooh, the pop bumpers are ridiculous. Remember the pop bumpers and the... the, the uh, kicker are running off DC. I, I won't tell you that score. On to the next one. We're eventually going to get this right, people. Now, we haven't yet, but eventually we will. I can figure out... I'm messing with my camera here. Here we go. Three thousand, thank you very much. Three thousand, thank you very much. Three thousand, thank you very much. Let me get that last rollover there. Let's get that last rollover. Boom, last rollover. Alright, that's two of our jokers. Let's get that let's get those four jokers. Three thousand, thank you very much. Okay. All right, that's a little more like it. Got 18,620 on ball one. Now we're getting there. Oop, too far. Oh no, dead mounts off the flipper over to the out lane. 24,700, this is ball three. Oh, I didn't go enough. If you come off the left side of that thing, I mean the right side of that thing, it's problematic. You want to come off this side of it. 
So you feed that flipper. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little popcorn off the glass. Mm. Just when I had it set up too. Okay, 36,500 and we're on the last ball. Come on, 50,000. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, come on. Okay, 40,520. But as you can see, my powers are increasing. Ah, too much. I went too far. If it puts you over on the right side of that top, you're messed up. There's, there's nothing good over there. Uh oh. Nope, we got it. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look how the top ones are now a thousand points each. Yeah. Okay, 18,980 on ball one. Nope, not enough. Need a little more than that. That's where you want it, right there. Nope. fast by me. I didn't have time to flip. Yeah, you want to stay up on that top left flipper all you can. Ah, I did it again. I can't, I've done it about four times already. It'll get over here and start getting bounced around really fast. And then if you're not watching it and you let that flipper drop, it'll roll right off the flipper real quick. I did, did it twice in just this game. Uh oh. See it? It tried it again. You saw that, right? This damn machine's trying to cheat. Mm. All right, 37,780. As you can see, my powers are decreasing. We're going to play one last game, people. So I want I want you all to, to pray for me now. You think God cares if we win a pinball game? Probably not. Don't pray for me. Just, it, it, save it for better things. Wish for me. All right. All right. We're up there on our left flipper where we want to be. Uh. Yeah, I got 9,220 on ball one. Now this is the game that we're going to get a ton of points on. So that's how it all started. This is going to be that game that we all remember. Started with 9,220 points. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I missed it. Give me my 3,000. 
perfect. Mm. Okay, we are now at 23,720. I'm getting better as the game goes along. Okay, I am at 30,300, which is right on track to get 50,000. Don't freak out, people. Don't freak out. Play it cool, people. <laughs> oh! I almost got that double bonus. I was going for that double bonus, people. All right, this is our last ball. But I already have 46,960. We are going to see a sweet 50,000 points unless I just completely fail. After all that, I pulled it off. I can't believe it. It's incredible. I'm so much better than I even thought I was. Of course, I'm not as good as Heckler on the side. He got 138,000, but he probably cheated. It was probably a 38,000, and I just thought there was a hundred in front of it, a one in front of it. So anyway, I got to show you how cool this thing looks with the the new street light. Would you look at that? Look at that. It's been years. I, it's been at least five years that that freaking light's been broke. And I never even noticed it. You'd think I would have noticed that the light didn't work. Mmm. Really puts things in a... It presents the games a lot better in the window here. What do you think? All right, folks, so we appreciate you hanging out with us. Thank you for watching, if you're still watching this far into it. Give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a fun little game. I've had a couple of these before. Um, I can't believe those 455s, how, how quick they flash. I guess the older ones flashed quicker or whatever. But uh, leave your comments down below. Let us know what you think. Did you know that we have a second channel now? It's my brother's channel. He runs that one. His name is Donnie. So we call the channel My Brother Donnie. And the reason we call it that is because I, he always has all these crazy things that he's getting into. And we all, we're always telling people these stories about what happened. And so it was always like this. Hey, did you hear that my brother Donnie, uh, blah, blah, blah. Hey, last week my brother Donnie, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I got this from my brother Donnie. He, blah, blah, blah. And so we know <laughs> he kept saying my brother Donnie. <laughs> And uh, so finally we convinced him to uh, start his own channel. So he's been filming some of his wild escapades. Like driving his truck with no brakes. Driving his truck with no clutch. Seeing how much... I, I could tell you about something that happened last week. I thought we were going to die. We did not die. Everything was cool. It was rough. Maybe it'll work it into a video soon. But uh, go check him out. He's a character. 
Uh, it has nothing to do with arcade games, though, but just Google him. My brother Donnie. Now, I don't know how well this works, but I Googled him a couple days ago, and he was the number one result on Google. Now, it could just be because I've Googled him before. I don't know. Could be. So, go check him out. The link is down below. Go check out that channel. And also, we'd like to thank everybody that has been using our Amazon links. Thank you very much. We've got international Amazon links now. So if you don't know how those work, if you're about to buy something on Amazon, if you click our link to take you to Amazon, it pays us a royalty because we just sent you to Amazon. So we get a advertising dollar for that. So we appreciate that. Not a dollar, it's a percentage of whatever you buy. So we have international links. So most of the stuff that people buy on Amazon, and we don't know who buys it, we just know what they buy. Most of it has been people from the United States. But then we opened up the international links, and I have to say, some cool watcher, some cool viewer in Canada has been buying all kinds of stuff on Amazon. So right out of the gate, we just started this international thing about three weeks ago, something like that. Right out of the gate, Canada has taken a large lead, people. Canada is way out here in the front. I mean... I don't want to give a number or anything like that because it, I don't want to discourage anybody, but Canada has been buying a lot of more stuff on our Amazon links than anybody else, with the exception of the United States, right? But then guess what happened? About a week ago, here comes the United Kingdom. <laughs> so what I can see is happening is in Canada, one or two people are buying everything. And I can tell because of the, the type of stuff that they're buying. You know what I mean? So like, There'll be five or six things, and they're all kind of similar. So you know that the same person bought that. Um, but the United Kingdom is coming on strong. Like uh, So uh, in the United Kingdom, it seems to be that people are buying one or two things, but it's more people. So the UK is coming right along there. And uh, people buy all kinds of cool stuff on there. There was a gentleman earlier buying... Uh, well, it might have been a gentlewoman. I don't know. It doesn't tell us uh, who it is or anything. There's no demographic information except what country it was and what they actually bought. So what this, I assume it was the same person. They bought all kinds of beef jerky, hot sauce, and taco sauce. So whoever that is out there that's buying off the beef jerky and the taco sauce and the hot sauce, we appreciate you using our Amazon link to do that. And I hope you don't get infected uh, or anything from all of that hot sauce. I don't see how you can drink that much hot sauce. I put a little bit on stuff, but man, I can't, I can't go serious like that. Those ones with the jalapenos and the habaneros and all that. Way too spicy for me. So <laughs> we appreciate everybody that's been buying the stuff on Amazon. Thank you. That's pretty cool. We're not going to get a Patreon account or anything like that because... Frankly, hey, we're just having a good time playing the games here, people. We already have a business, so uh, we appreciate you hanging out with us. We don't want to charge for videos or anything, because then you might complain about the quality. That, that ain't going to work. We like being able to say, what are you complaining about? It's free. So uh, thanks for hanging out with us tonight and checking out our new beautiful streetscape out there. Let's go look. Let's, let's go check it out, shall we? If I can unlock myself. Let's see if anybody's out here. It's pretty late. Nobody. This beautiful church across the street. It's my truck. Look at that. The streets are bare. Or are they? <laughs> yeah, it's lit up really nice though. They, they must have came along and, and fixed all the light. Let's see. Let's, Let's go look on the side street here. Did they fix all of them or just some of them? Man, they fixed all of them. Somebody must have been complaining. All right, folks, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next video.